Yeah, we're back again for the review of the games that went down. And we're going to take this one game by game because we can't wait for the whole log to go. It's a big game, Liverpool. We all expected Liverpool to win this one. But unfortunately, on the cards was something different. Fulham came in with a different strip. Uh, Alexandra Mitrovic, the last time was in Premier League, scored only three goals all season. In this game, he's banged in one, uh, two goals in one game already. Yeah, Mo Salah, Liverpool also have something beautiful to say about themselves. Mo Salah continued his record of scoring in every opening game. This is the sixth opening match day that he has scored a goal. A record that he obviously will take to the grave. I'm not sure anybody will match him. Not with Van Nistelrooy, not Cristiano Ronaldo, not even... Terry Hori were able to put up that type of record, not even Alan Shara, Matt Leticia, Jimmy Floyd Asubal, Andy Cole, Dwight York, or whoever you think their name is, Babatov, Teddy Sheringham, none of these people when Ronnie did any of that, Robbie Fowler, Michael Lowell, so it's a record that he would go to the grave with and it would take forever, maybe not in our lifetime for somebody else to come change that, but anything is, you know, possible. My name is Ada Fimati, I'm going to love to come in the Elevator One Response. Thank you very much for joining my match day review, uh, preview, sorry, no, review, yeah, this is a review of the game, uh, the live game that just went by Fulham, Liverpool at Craven Cottage. For me, uh, I'm going to only see, be able to see what I saw and how I saw it, but it doesn't mean that you all out there don't have a diverse view or a different view to the way the match went down. If you have a different view, please do comment on the, on the comment section and then tell me what you think about the game. Having said that, please do us a favor by subscribing, click on the notification button, help us to grow because our growth also means a whole lot of other people are growing. Have you checked our website yet? www.elegotatv.com. We've got plenty of stories. For those of you who bet on Liverpool, I'm already feeling very bad and sorry because I thought that this was supposed to be an easy game for Liverpool to win and you know, I went against my better judgment. I wanted to say everybody should bet on over 2.5 or over 3.5 in this game, but I wasn't. I didn't see that coming. I apologize for your your loss, but then those who won from the Friday game, congratulations to you. And I still think that some other people would win. One of the advice I give to betters is don't put uh, the same team, don't pick the same match in multiple tickets. So if you put Liverpool in all of your tickets, automatically they are all cancelled. Then you look forward to tomorrow's game. We'll see how that goes. Now let's get to the match proper. Before we get to the match proper, please, have you subscribed to our YouTube channel? Your subscription would help us to grow. That's all I need right now. That's all I can say. I might be saying it too often, but I really want this channel to grow. The idea is, I want to prove that you don't have to run away from Nigeria to make things work, and uh, you don't have to be in the abroad to make things work. You can be here and also grow something like this. And then, to be very honest, is if this channel grows, it provides a whole lot of uh, leverage, platform, and opportunity for employment for a lot of Nigerians that are here and even the ones in diaspora. So help us to grow so that we can hit that map. And the only thing you can do for us is always, you know, like our comment, uh, our content, comment on our content, subscribe to our channel, talk about our, our YouTube channel to other people, talk about our radio, talk about our website to other people and help this business to grow. You know how difficult it is to set up a business in a country like Nigeria under Buhari, the worst president ever in the universe? Well, let's not talk about politics now. Let's come back to the conversation. I will just go on a little break and I'll tell you what I think, uh, what my views, my opinion about this game. But I, up front, let me say this. I think that the gap between the end of the season and the start of the season is not a good one. Usually it is 90 to 92 days gap. This time around it's 72 72 days gap, that's already a terrible one. No wonder Pep Guardiola in his uh, pre-match press conference said, you cannot win the title because there are 16 games before the World Cup. You cannot win the title before the World Cup, but you definitely can lose the title before the World Cup. Looking at the way the games have gone, the way the games have started, how they went from the end of the season to this one, I have to agree with Pep Guardiola. And after the community chilled, I really did think that Liverpool were the team to beat. But when I, what I saw today, Liverpool repeat this type of performance against some of the big side. Obviously, there are not two games in football that are the same. But if they repeat this type of performance against the big side, mm -mm. I don't know what to say, but that top four might not even be guaranteed, okay? But the good thing is they didn't play exceptionally well after like 25 minutes, but they still end up picking a point. So... The Liverpool that we know, Gagan Pressing and uh, Yogi Club will formulate something, pick the right selection and get them going. The positive is that Mosala scored. Another positive is Darwin Nunes has scored every game he's played. He doesn't need 90 minutes to score goals, so he's got goals in him. He might be, people might say he's the white Lukaku, he's the next Andy Carroll. The most important thing is he's got goals in him. And if he keeps scoring like this, he just might lead them, lead them to win. 
Well, let me go on this small break. When I'll be back, I'll tell you my take about the game. Yeah, uh, welcome back. And uh, it's the Fulham Liverpool game at Craven Cottage. It ended 2 2. You already know that. But these are the things that I saw in that game. I think that Liverpool were slow to the game in the 50 50 balls. And they mentally was a little bit off. They were mentally off in this game. Doesn't mean that Liverpool is a bad team or the, the, the selection was poor. Not every time a team drops points, you want to blame the team. But I'm just feeling like there is a little bit of heaviness coming from the long season that they had. No proper break. They're traveling around the world for what I call a commercial break. It's not really uh, the kind of, you know, when I play football, the kind of uh, precision that you have. It's no longer that type where you get to go hide yourself behind some mountains and really train, keep yourself fit. This time around, you're jet lagging from one continent to the other and then just meeting people from uh, New Zealand to Melbourne to Perth to coming back to Europe and coming to play. That tiredness will obviously speak. But then, could have also been one at the end of the game with that ball that hit the, the woodwork. Anything could have happened in this game. Uh, I think that Liverpool fans should not take this game and say to themselves, oh, we're going to have a bad season. I don't think so. After all, you beat Manchester City three goes to one uh, just a week ago. So there is just that something in this team that will tell you that Liverpool would always be Liverpool, especially with Jurgen Klopp as the coach. Having said that, let me point out some things that I love about the way Fulham played. The way he set himself in the back and front triangle, you know, three players up front. And then another three players webbing them at the back. So making this type of triangle where you have three going and three catching them at the back. The reason why that is, is, is the press and support system that uh, the coach of uh, Fulham introduced. Because the only way to stop Liverpool from getting in, 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 in flow and getting in full motion is to disrupt their rhythm. Because like music... Music needs rhythm and harmony for you to get good sound, for you to love and enjoy it. The same thing with football, the same thing with life. There was no rhythm and harmony to the play. Not because Liverpool were not doing the, the right job, just because Fulham were disruptive in their play. And they were bold enough, you know, when they went forward. And Mitrovic was just that guy who does not know how to give up. This, you could say, is his day. And on the players' day, sometimes, you know, they say on any given Sunday, anything is possible. And that's exactly what we saw in this game. I just hope that... It, it continues like this for them because Fulham is one of those teams that I have already picked to go on relegation. So like I was saying, it's not really the fact that Liverpool didn't play well. It was just that uh, Fulham came prepared and they were ready to make a mark. And you know how these small teams are? They always want to play extremely well against the big team because when it puts them in the shopping space, uh, it, it gives them a record. Brentford against Arsenal last season at the beginning, you could see that type of thing happen. If you look at the, the games where some of these big teams drop points, it was always against some of the smaller teams that you don't expect that to happen. But Mitrovic gave a good account of himself uh, until the you know, the goal by Darwin Nunez, I think that Tosin also did a very good uh, job on the game as well. Everybody on the Fulham side did well. I think that, you know, apart from being slow, Liverpool also did well. Uh, I think Virgil van Dijk was a little bit slow. The rest of the team were, you know, especially in the 50-50 ball, didn't come through. Did um, somebody send me a message? Hey, hi, Daffy. Did Jürgen Klopp pick the right team? I said, yes. Uh, there was woodwork, there was great goalkeeping from the Fulham goalkeeper. There was a whole lot that made this thing impossible for Liverpool to win. But hey, that's football. Sometimes it doesn't just go your way. And then all those close shave of hitting the woodwork, VR decision on that penalty. I think that it was a soft penalty. It was a soft penalty. Any other time, some VR would even overturn that one. But hey, it happened. What do you do going forward? That's the most important thing. When you drop points in games like this, you need to find a way to, you know, conjure a run of win. It's not going to start the season under pressure. Mikel Arteta and the Arsenal players know that from last season. And so they started the season well. But Liverpool already dropping two points from the beginning. Let's see what the other teams will play. Now it's up to Tottenham Hotspur to start again. But remember, last season, after the first three games, Tottenham were on top of the league table. And it seems like this was the season where Tottenham were going to perform the miracle that they should have performed in 2016. But we know how the season ended. They got to the top four on the last day. Well, there's a whole lot to go on between now and the 16th game before the World Cup and then the return to play on the 26th of December to start the second phase of the season. You know, there's, there's more game after the World Cup than before the World Cup. But we'll see how it goes. The, the journey to uh, November for the World Cup already begins 
Arsenal have won their game, Fulham got a draw over Liverpool. What are the other games that will come up? We would uh, I'll come give a round up maybe after the final games in the evening. But congratulations to those who've won and those who's lost. We'll just say sorry. Those who their team have dropped point will also say sorry. But it is one out of 38. There is still a lot of games to go. I feel very, very happy being here. Thank you very much for joining me on my match day talk. My name is Kate Daffy, Matthew Sogane. Thanks for your love for the YouTube channel that we have. The Legotech TV family is very, very happy and excited about you guys. Uh, for plenty of stories and news and analysis, you can log on to www.elegotetv.com. There is plenty of analysis and bet predictions on that website. But at the same time, you can also listen to our, uh, our radio on www.elegotetv.com forward slash radio. And you can also download the radio app or just search on your Android uh, um, Play Store, Elegotet TV Radio. But then, most of all, on this YouTube channel where you're watching me, please subscribe, click on the notification button and do comment on the content that we're putting out as well as share. God bless you and have yourself a wonderful day. Enjoy the rest of the weekend as I come away after the final game this evening.